Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, who's coming towards you in regards to love? All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see. There we go, spirit angels and guys, please show me who's coming towards Gemini in regards to love. All right. This is for Gemini. Who's coming towards Gemini in regards to love? All right, first card we have here is the Six of Pentacles. Could be a Taurus for some of you. Hmm. All right, so someone definitely wants to have a, have a relationship with you. This person that's coming towards you, they want to have a relationship with you. They want balance with you. They want stability with you. They want to get along with you. Okay. Tell me more, Spirit, who's coming towards Gemini in regards to love? So we have the Three of Swords in reverse. It would be a Libra. I don't know if this is new or old, but if this is a new person, if this is a new person that you're dealing with um, that's coming towards you, this person has definitely been hurt in the past badly. They've been badly hurt and heartbroken in the past in previous relationships. And they're hoping that with you, things will be different this time around. If this is a new person, this person is wanting to take a chance on you. They want to they wanna take a chance on you because they feel like they've already done enough healing and they're ready to put, the, put themselves out there again, you know? And give love another chance. That's if you're dealing with a new person. If this is um, not a new person, if this is like a, a past person, then this person wants to resolve whatever issues you two have had in the past and get along with you, find a way to work together with you and get along with you and have a stable relationship with you. All right. Let's get one more card. Who's coming towards Gemini in regards to love? Oh, well... We have the Five of Wands. Leo energy. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. What's at the bottom of the deck? Five of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like if this is a past person, then... Definitely, there's been um, conflict, drama, issues between the two of you. And that's something that they definitely want to resolve with you and fix, repair, and get back on track with you. They want stability with you. They want this relationship between the two of you to move forward again. Okay, this is, a, this is a little bit vague, so let's go ahead and clarify, see if we can get more information. All right, what am I going to do here? Let me use this deck. 
Actually, no, let me use this one. I feel like I need to do upright, upright and reversals with the clarification because again, I feel like I'm not, I feel like it's vague. Not a lot of inf information is coming through. All right, Spirit, let's clarify the Six of Pentacles, please, in, in regards to who's coming towards Gemini. So maybe it's vague because, like, not a lot of action has happened between the two of you. It's been very stagnant. It's been very... Um, Yeah, uneventful between the two of you. A lack, lack of communication, lack of interaction with each other. No one's doing anything, no one's saying anything. All right, clarify the Six of Pentacles, who's coming towards Gemini. So we have the moon in reverse. Hmm. So something is everything is out in the open now. I suppose so. I mean, we do have the five of wands here, so yeah, everything is out in the open. Nothing is hidden. What's the six of Pentacles? Tell me more. Here, font in reverse. Kind of like all the issues, all the issues are, are out in the open. All the issues have been revealed. Now, now it's all about, are we going to fix these issues or not? Are we going to make things better or not? That's where you're at right now with this person. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong already. So, yeah, what are, you, what are you two going to do next is the question. All right, so we have Hierophant in reverse. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. And the Emperor in reverse. Okay. You know, this person is waiting on you. Or like... They're, yeah, they're waiting to see how you're going to react to them, how you're going to respond to them. Because um, I do feel like this person's coming towards you, wanting to settle things with you, you know, settle the issues between the two of you. But I feel like they're going to kind of... give you a little breadcrumb. They're going to give you a little breadcrumb just to see if you're going to take it, you know, if you're going to respond to them, if you're going to be receptive to them. Depending on what you do and depending on how you respond and how you react is what's going to tell them if they want to move forward with you in regards to, you know, fixing their relationship with you or not. So it's like this person wants the repairing of this relationship to be very 50-50, to be very like um, equal. Which basically is telling me that this person feels like there's no saints in this relationship. There's no saints. No one is perfect. Um, they have their issues and you have their issues. Um, they've made their mistakes and you've made your mistakes. This is according to them, Gemini. I'm not saying this. This is them. They feel like it's been, it's, it's fair for the both of you to try to fix this relationship together, you know, 50-50. They feel like it's fair. So 
because they feel like both of you have contributed to this drama or to this chaos, this instability, whatever this is. This tension, this friction, they feel like both of you have contributed to it, to that. So they feel like both of you should also contribute towards the repairing of this relationship. They want to repair the relationship. They just don't know if you want the same thing. So I feel like they're coming towards you with an energy of wanting to fix things with you, but it's kind of like they're not, they're not moving towards you like 100% with, with their 100% energy. It's like they're giving a little bit. They're giving you a little bit of themselves. Like they're throwing a breadcrumb at you to see if you'll reciprocate, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense to you. I don't know how to explain it. It's like this person wants to match your energy. All right. All right. I don't know if this is good or bad. So let's continue the, the storyline because I don't know where where is this going. It might not end well. I don't know why I'm feeling that, but we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. Tell me about the Three of Swords. In regards to who's coming towards Gemini. So we have mm, the King of Swords here. I don't know about this. With the Ten of Cups in reverse, with the Page of Swords upright. Yeah, I don't know about this. This is looking a little bit shady. It's looking a little bit shady, but I am getting the same energy basically of someone who wants to be neutral. They want to try to maintain themselves in this neutral energy because they want to match your energy and they want to like they want to follow your lead. Whatever you do, that's what they'll do. Ten of Cups in reverse, confirmation that this relationship is very um, unstable. There's a lot of damage. Um, things are not going well. There's a there's a, a feeling of unhappiness and unfulfillment. But this person is watching you. They're, they're keeping tabs on you. Even though this relationship is um, not doing so well, it's like this person still feels the need to watch you and like follow you because... Or like keep tabs on you because it kind of looks like they, they're they still attached. They're still attached to you and what they want with you. They're still attached. Okay. All right. Let's look at the five of wands. Spirit, who's coming towards Gemini? Five of wands. So we have the Magician, we also have the Three of Wands in Reverse, we also have the Strength card. Hmm. Three of Wands in Reverse, the Strength card. I don't know if this is you or them. You know what it is? No, it, it is them. I could feel their energy, but you know what it is? I'll, I know what it is. 
I think I got it. You know, I feel like this person changed their mind. And I feel like that's why they're coming towards you because they changed their mind. They were never going to come towards you. That was never the plan. That was never their final decision. I feel like this person's final decision after whatever transpired, whatever, I don't know, whatever fight, argument, drama transpired between the two of you, this person's final decision was to leave you. Was to move on from you and be single and be independent and be all about themselves. That was their final decision. And the reason why they made that decision was because they felt like there was no future with you. The the issues between the two of, you, of sorry the issues between the two of you were too bad like were too much, and they felt like this is not going anywhere. There's no future. I don't see any future being possible between me and Gemini. And at this point, I don't care. I just care about myself. I just care about doing me and focusing on me. I'm getting a lot of ego energy from them. I am getting that. Like an attitude. I feel like this person has a little bit of a, like a bad attitude type of energy. At attitude-y. Yeah. Maybe a spitfire. I don't know why I'm getting that too. Like a spitfire energy. Like someone who doesn't have a filter. Someone who does whatever they want and says whatever they want type of energy. Yeah, kind of like, um, just kind of like impulsive and... I feel like this person has a little bit of like anger issues also. I feel like they get angry really easily. They get upset really easily. But what was I saying? I lost my track. Yeah, so with the three of wands, they felt like, yeah, I don't see any future with Gemini. I don't think that's possible anymore, so... You know, I'm just going to abandon this whole situation, this whole relationship, and I'm just going to do me. Um, the hell with Gemini. Honestly, uh, that's what I'm getting. I feel like this person said something harsh like that. Maybe not to you, but to themselves. Like, the hell with Gemini, you know. Or, like The hell with this relationship. I don't care. I feel like they care. I just feel like they were angry, so they said, I don't care. Or they thought, I don't care you know, in a bad way. So my point is, I feel like it was never their plan to come back towards you. I feel like they had already um, decided that they're going to explore their options. You know, they're going to focus on themselves and they're going to explore other options in this world. But there's something about them changing their mind, and that's why they're coming toward you. Something happened that made them change their mind. I would like to know what, actually. I would like to know what happened that changed their mind. Let's see if we can figure that out. I feel like it's related to the King of Swords, male or female, and the Page of Swords. So let's see that. Spirit, tell me about the Page of Swords. Okay. Connected to this person. Here we go again with the five of wands in reverse. Tell me about page of swords. We also have the knight of pentacles and the page of pentacles. This is them starting to change their mind and shift their perspective from... This is never going to work out. This is a waste of time to maybe I should reach out to Gemini. Maybe I should do something here. 
All right, but I'm still not getting why they changed their mind. Tell me about the King of Swords. Six of Pentacles. There's the, the first card that we got in this reading, Six of Pentacles. Tell me more about the King of Swords. With the Hermit, well, well, well. Look at this. Look at the Hermit card with the Six of Pentacles. You see this person had second thoughts with the Hermit card. This is them having a moment of reflection. Having a moment of contemplation. This is them second guessing themselves, second guessing their decision to up and leave you, you know? Get up and to get up and leave you and, and forget about you. Let's get one more for the King of Swords. And there goes the tower, which is, you know, whatever blow up happened between the two of you. So kind of looks like this person had a moment of thinking with the hermit card. Thinking what, though? Tell me about the hermit. Tell me about the hermit card. Nine of cups. Oh. Tell me about the Hermit, Queen of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Oh, I see. That's what happened. I feel like this person all of a sudden um, they were reminded of their feelings for you. Nine of Cups, Queen of Cups in reverse, Two of Cups. Clarifying the hermits. All of a sudden, this person remind, remembered their emotions and feelings for you. That's what caused them to stop in their tracks. That, that's what stopped them in their tracks from leaving this whole situation, this whole relationship with you. This is kind of like an energy of... Wait a second. I care about Gemini. I have feelings for Gemini. Now that I think about it, now that I think about it, I love Gemini. I want to be with Gemini. With the Two of Cups. I don't actually want to walk away. So it just kind of looks like they made this decision to walk away from you or to walk away from this relationship with you from a place of frustration, like from a place of being angry, being upset, you know, feeling bitter, holding a grudge. But once that energy subsided, that's when they rem remembered that they actually have a lot of feelings for you. And it's not so easy to walk away from someone who you have such a strong emotional connection to. So that's why they're returning back. Okay, so we got, we got to the bottom of that. Anything else? Yeah, it just kind of looks like this person, um, uh, deep down inside, they feel a lot of love for you. They, they have a strong emotional connection to you. They feel like um, they feel a strong soulmate connection with you. Two of Cups is like soulmates. So, and that's something that they can't manipulate, right? Because the King of Swords, male or female, can be very manipulative, but they can't, they can't do that. They can't manipulate their feelings, and that's where, that's where they're encountering a problem and an issue here in regards to leaving you and letting this go.
They can't mani- I mean, they can, mani- they can manipulate their actions, but they can't manipulate their feelings. And it kind of looks like their feelings for you are, are a lot. Very, very strong. So here they are, coming back towards you, knocking on your door. All right. Let's go back to the original storyline. What am I doing here? Let's see. All right, let's take a deeper look at this person's intentions, okay? And and why they're coming towards you. Okay, I want to look at, I want to take this and this. I'll take this. All right, here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what are this person's intentions with Gemini? What are this person's intentions with Gemini? Why are they coming towards Gemini? All right, here we go. So we have the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. We also have, well, King of Cups. It went from the King of Swords to the King of Cups. Now they're in their feelings. Before they were stuck in their mind. Now they're stuck in their feelings. All right. What's their intentions with Gemini? Why are they coming towards Gemini? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Okay, this is pretty simple. Like, um, this is pretty straightforward. They're, they're coming towards you because now they're, now they're being reminded that they care about you and that they, they love you. They have feelings for you. They want to be with you. Um, they don't actually want to be um, away from you with the Five of Pentacles. They don't actually want to be out, outside of this relationship. They want to work things out with you. You know, I don't feel like this person is like telling you all of this because that's not how they showed up here. This person is going to hold themselves back. They're going to hold back their feelings from you. They're not going to tell you um, that they're crazy about you because I am getting that energy. I feel like this person's crazy about you. I feel like they're not going to tell you that, though. They're going to come towards you acting emotionally detached because they're scared of your rejection. It just kind of looks like this person has a lot of ego and pride. Um, so they're scared of being rejected by you. They're scared of looking like a fool. So they're going to come towards you with bare minimum energy, you know, because they're not confident that you want them still, that you want them back, that you still care about them, that you still have feelings for them, that you want this relationship. They're not confident about any of that. They look at you like you're unpredictable. They look at you like you are um, hard to read. So, and again, they don't want to be vulnerable with you just to, just to get rejected. But it kind of looks like their true intentions is to reconnect with you in, a, in an emotional way. Reestablish that emotional connection with you and... They want to they wanna get out of the cold. They want you to take them back and they want to recover this relationship with you. All right, but that's going to stay underneath the surface. They're, they're going to hide that until they feel like you want the same thing. Until they feel confident that that you also love them, that you also care about them, that you also want them back. Okay. All right, Gemini. So that's what I have for you. I hope this reading helped in some way. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.